Right. Oh, okay. Dude, uh, could you get any creepier? Mm, probably. Please don't. Uh, so, uh, I guess it's December. Yep. Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> well, then it's time for Christmas Lazy Game Reviews. Or else my clone will never go away. <laughs> is there no end to the idea that Santa Claus is just moments away from snapping and going into full homicidal maniac mode? Because I've lost track of the number of games I've covered that take this juvenile concept and run with it. You'd think there would be a bit more variety in the motives behind holiday massacres. Anyway, here's another one. Santa Slayer, developed by Digital Dialect and released as freeware in 1996 for Windows PCs. And man, oh man, this is so far past the bottom of the barrel, we've gone subterranean. Just look at this thing. Santa Slayer, oddly enough, is a Six Degrees of Freedom first-person shooter, much like what you'd expect from games like Descent or Forsaken. However, unlike those games, this one sucks in every way imaginable and then goes out of its way to make sure you're completely dissatisfied by the end. For one thing, even though you can move around in any direction, you can't strafe left or right, and there's not even any joystick or mouse support, meaning that moving and aiming is an absolute chore. The next issue is literally everything else. The gameplay is asinine, the graphics are hideous, and the sound effects are stolen from Windows 95 and Duke 3D. wasting my life here, folks, and I'm fully aware of it. That's not good. I should be out decking the halls and caroling the bells or something. I'm not even sure what the point of this game is! I mean, there's zero story or context given in the game itself or its readme file, but you can shoot things, so who cares, right? There are evil elves with machine guns and imposter Santas flying around to throw exploding presents, so for all I know, this is just Santa having a bad fever dream. I guess the goal is to shoot whatever moves, but actually, I'm not sure. Because the game doesn't end when you do that. Seriously, kill everything and nothing happens. You just sit there, contemplating existence in silence until you decide to kill yourself with your own weapons. Now that's some dark holiday commentary right there. At first, I thought there was something wrong with the game, because after all, the whole thing looks like something wrong. But nope, the README file actually says, when you've killed everything, nothing will happen. Restart the game if you want to play some more. And no, you can't get into Santa's workshop. What do you expect? It's free. What do I expect? I expect an ending of some kind. How hard could that have been to implement? Even simply making the game exit would have been some kind of ending, but instead, this is the epitome of slapdash development. Kind of impressive, really, but what was the point? Well, it seems like this was some kind of programming exercise with something called the Cancun engine, although I can't find any other references to this engine online. The team behind this, Digital Dialects, went on to do all sorts of impressive stuff later on, though. Things like the PC ports for Oddworld Abe's Odyssey and Metal Gear Solid, as well as a game called Adrenix. This is another Six Degrees of Freedom first-person shooter, and this is just pure speculation, but I'd wager that it uses the same engine as Santa Slayer here. Alright, maybe that's all this is, an exercise by a fledgling team of game developers in a new 3D engine that they used later on. Well, at least that was productive for them, but why did they bother letting this loose on the public? Surely if this was meant as a Christmas gift to the gaming masses, then it's the malicious kind of gift, like a bucket of snakes or blankets laced in smallpox. There is a multiplayer mode, but I can't for the life of me imagine who would want to put themselves through that kind of pain with others. The only net positive is maybe that it runs at over 600 frames per second, and according to some people's standards today, that means it's automatically legendary for a PC game. So, in terms of frame rate, I guess this is the game of the year for 1996. 
on any other terms whatsoever, it's a piece of Christmas coal with zero redeeming qualities. But what do you expect? It's free. Ugh. That's the first Christmas video down. There's a couple or more, something like that to go. I haven't decided how many I'm doing this year, but there are more coming soon here on LGR. So stay tuned or subscribe if you'd like to, to be notified whenever they're out. There's always Twitter and Facebook to bother me and Patreon to bother me with money. Okay, wait, none of these things bother me. Actually, I quite like them, so do them. And as always, thank you very much for watching. My apologies, it had to be a crappy game like this, though. <laughs>